Hello and welcome to Headingley for day three of the third Ashes Test. Australia 6 for 171, leading by 283 runs. Here to preview day three is Australia number six, Matthew Wade. And Matthew Wade, you were out there when Australia rolled England for 67. Could you quite believe what you were seeing? No, it was pretty impressive. The bowlers bowled uh, extremely well, but uh, we just wanted to get into the day and really make it tough for them to get to our score initially, and it just seemed to happen really quick. It was just one of those days all the bowlers bowled exceptionally well and, yeah, managed to get the rewards. We had the best seat in the house. What were the Aussie bowlers doing so well? Just consistent. I think Josh, uh, especially, he's just consistent on his line and length. And on this wicket, as we've seen, there's enough both ways. That, uh, he can beat outside and inside edge. So um, that's the strength, and that's what we wanted to do. As I said, we just wanted to really draw it, make it hard. If they were going to get the runs, then make sure they got them later on in the day by having to work really hard. And they got the reward yesterday. We heard you on the stump mic uh, being fairly vocal out there. Was that just to support the bowlers or let the opposition know the state of the game? I think the stump mocks are always up when I'm around. So, oh, well, I've actually been pretty tame, to be honest, throughout the whole test series. So, no, we're just trying to create energy, create our own environment on the ground. It's what we spoke about before we came over. It's about, you know, the energy that we're creating in that inner circle rather than what's going on out, outside of the ring or outside of the rope. So, we're just having a bit of fun, a bit of banter. Terribly unlucky in the first inning. 33 in the second, out yeah. to a good ball from Ben Stokes. So, uh, how's your game going? And what's it like batting out there? Yeah, it's certainly challenging. I feel like I'm batting well. I haven't made too many mistakes to be honest. I've got, I've got a couple of good balls in the last uh, couple of games uh, and then yeah the first innings was just unfortunate that happens in cricket hopefully not too much but um, yeah I'm feeling good I'm feeling confident as I said before the series if I can just keep trusting myself and what I've been doing over two years I feel like the runs will come at some stage. Um, yeah a little bit unlucky over the last couple of innings but hopefully I get some rewards later on down the track. We saw some chat between you and Jason Roy. What does that do for you? Is it, how does that impact you as a batter, fire you up, make you more focused? Yeah, absolutely. I seem to enjoy the contest a lot. So um, while there's a little bit of banter going on and a bit of chat, I'm more than happy to engage. It doesn't worry me too much, so I enjoy it. Um, yeah, hopefully they do in the second innings. Looks like the pitch is still doing a little bit. Uh, what's your read on it? Yeah, it was when I got out there, it was okay. And then uh, after drinks, it certainly started to swing a lot more than probably we've seen throughout the whole series. Um, Stokes, he was getting it go big late. So uh, if we can get a little bit of swing, that'd be great. But there's enough. I think they're just surface cracks on top of the um, surface. So they're, they're nipping uh, if you hit those. So we, I mean, we're going to be in the game. We're 280. We'd like to get another 100, which would be nice. And then we're we're right in the game. But um, you know, we've got to we've got to bowl well again. Um, these guys, if they get on top of you, they can certainly drive in India. You want to be batting for a little bit longer, but you might be bowling later today. Which bowler do you think is going to have the biggest impact? I think Pato, to be honest. I think you know, Josh got the rewards in the first innings, but I think James, first couple of overs, he looked like he was struggling for a bit of rhythm, and then he found it straight away. I think uh, if he gets the opportunity in the second innings, he could be the guy that um, tears it apart, especially if we get a little bit of movement in the air. He's probably our biggest swing bowler that we've got. So um, I think James is going to be hard to face out there uh, in the second. You've been facing all these big quicks in the nets for couple of months now. Is it good to finally see them all unleashed on the park? Yeah, it's good. Starkey's, uh, apparently the boys are having some serious sessions with Starkey in the mornings. Obviously we train here before the, the start of the test because the wickets are on the ground and they're, they're usually a bit spicy. So Marsh and Harris and Bancroft, they've been facing him and he looks ready to go as well. So it be good to see him play next week in the tour game and then I think he'll get an opportunity over the next couple of tests as well. Thank you. Good luck. No worries. Thank you.